Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the problems based on the projection of plane. So the given problem statement is a pentagonal plane of 30 mm side is resting on HP on one of its edge and its surface is inclined at 35 degree to the HP. Draw its projection when the edge resting on HP is inclined to 40 degree to the vertical plane. So in this case, they have given two condition. In the initial condition, its surface is going to be inclined at 35 degree to the HP. And in second condition, when the resting edge on HP is going to make 40 degree angle to the vertical plane. So in this case, total six projections we have to complete. And in the initial condition, we are going to rest the given pentagonal plane or the horizontal plane so that we can have a edge line as a front view projection and in a top view projection we are going to draw the true shape of that given pentagonal plane having 30 mm side. So let's start with this. First of all we will draw one pentagonal plane in a top view projection. Now to have that just go with the polygon command in a draw toolbar. Internal number of side is equals to 5. Hit enter button and you have to right click there you will find one edge option. In this case, we are going to draw the side 30 mm. So we are going to draw that pentagon by means of edge. So just select it. And if you just click over here and move your cursor like this, okay, it will give us pentagon. If you just go on moving your cursor over the screen. As of now, I am going to move that cursor to the right side. So you can see that one of its side is going to make a parallel uh, projection with respect to this drawn xy line and if i move my cursor in a downward direction somewhat like this so in that case we are going to draw the pentagon having one of its edge perpendicular to the xy line so we are going to draw the pentagon like this only so that we can have the given condition one of its edge is resting on the hp and that we are going to tilt at an angle 35 degree with respect to HP. So just enter the given side 30 mm and hit enter button so that we can have that pentagon over here. Now once we have this provision in a top view projection, the next thing is that we have to provide numbering for this corner point. So just go with the single line text, select enter text height is equals to 3 hit enter button and 0 degree angle and if you just click over there one cursor is going to blink over the screen so in this case this is going to be a point A over here so just type point A over there this will become point B that's nothing but the point C point D and point E <coughs> once we have the all the corner points in a top view projection. So all those corner points when we are going to project in an upward direction. <coughs> Just select these points and move it to the required position. Just make sure that we have turn off this ortho mode command. Move all those points one by one to the required place. Okay, once we're done with this, just go with the projection layer, go with the line command, and you have to transfer all these corner points in a vertical upward manner. Just make sure that we have turn on this ortho mode command so that we can have exact vertical lines. Similarly, you have to draw the projection line for the point C and E as well. So the same line we can represent for the point C and D, again point D, like this, okay. Now once we done with all those projection lines, the next thing is that you have to draw front view projection by referring this point A, B, again point C, E and point D. Again go with the single line text. Select text type 3 
and rotation angle 0 and the same numbering you have to provide over here so this will be a dash <coughs> comma b dash so both the points we are going to locate in a front view projection over there again this will be the c dash comma e dash and this is going to be point d dash over there so like this we have completed the nomenclature for the front view as well now once we're done with this if you just read the problem statement carefully in a problem they have given resting on hp on one of its edge so this is going to be one of its edge ab and that is going to be rest over the horizontal plane and its surface is inclined at 35 degree to the horizontal plane so this surface is going to be tilted at an angle 35 degree over here okay so just go with the copy command select the drawn front view hit enter button select a base reference point with which we can copy our drawn object and just click at a certain distance like this so we have completed the second view as well now once we're done with this we have to carry all those projection lines in a downward direction so that we can have intersection point with respect to this drawn true shape of that pentagon by drawing horizontal projection lines over there go with the projection again select line command this will be the projection line for the point a and b similarly you have to draw the projection line for the point c and e as well in a downward direction similarly you have to draw a projection line for the point d okay <clears throat> now once we're done with this draw the projection line from the point a so that we can have intersection point over here so this is nothing but the point a at the intersection similarly draw the projection line for the pin over the same line we will get that intersection point so this is the intersection point b again just draw the projection line for the point c and that we are going to obtain over this vertical line like this again go for the point d and that we are going to obtain over here again at the end point number e so once we complete all those projection lines in a vertical and horizontal manner the next thing is that we are just go on connecting all those intersection points by a line so this will be the point a so we are starting with this point this will be the point b again just turn off this ortho mode command so that we are able to draw inclined lines connect this point which is nothing but the point c again this will be the point d at the intersection this is nothing but the point E and at the end point A. So by this way we have completed the next projection. But if we just look out this drawn component, we have not taken 35 degree inclination over here and that what they have asked over here. So we have to draw the 35 degree inclination with respect to this second projection over here okay so <clears throat> whatever the projection we have drawn that is the similar to this previous condition but as per the their requirement we have to tilt that surface to the 35 degree inclination with the hp so just rotate this go with the rotate command select this drawn object hit enter button <clears throat> select this reference point and here you have to enter 35 degree now if you just look out the projection line once we rotate this plane at an angle 35 degree let me measure this angle as well go with the dimension we will use the same layer so this angle we have 35 degree okay now if i just draw the projection line from point a we will get the same intersection but if we just look out for the point c and e so previously we have that line over here okay but the new line is going to be this one okay so that i am going to draw over here okay so this one so this is going to be the new line 
Similarly, if we just look out for the point D as well, so that we are going to obtain somewhat over here. Okay. So I have drawn this view intentionally so that you can understand how we are going to make the difference. Okay, when we are going to tilt this plane at an angle 35 degree. So to whatever the projection lines we are drawn initially, so that is not going to be the correct projection. So actually we have to complete these projections over there. Okay. So just delete the previous construction. Okay. Or directly you can tilt this plane to the 35 degree. Okay. While drawing in the final <coughs> projection. And then you can just go on connecting those lines over there. So just go with the object layer once. Go with the line command. So this will be the point A, point B now. Now this is nothing but the point C at the intersection. This is going to be point E, sorry point D. This is going to be point E, again point A. So this is the required answer when we are going to tilt this plane at an angle 35 degree. Now just go with the trim command and whatever the extra lines we have drawn for the projection string like <coughs> I can go with the single line text select text type 3 rotation angle 0 and this is nothing but the point A this is going to be point B this will be the point C point D, point E. Okay, so we have completed the solution for this given problem <clears throat> for the first condition. Its surface is inclined to the 35 degree to the HP. Now to consider the given problem statement in a second case, the edge resting on HP is inclined at 40 degree to the vertical plane. So in this case, this edge is going to be rest over the horizontal plane and that we want to make at an angle 45 degree as per the given problem statement. So first of all, we will just copy this fourth view as it is. Select and this will be the base reference point with which we can copy this over here like this. Now we are going to rotate this by using rotate command go with the selection hit enter button now we are going to refer point b as a base reference point and if i just move my cursor you are able to see that we are going to rotate that object in a clockwise direction so if you just imagine the initial condition this side ab is perpendicular to this xy line okay and if you just imagine the 40 degree angle over here with respect to that vertical line okay so over here we want 40 degree angle okay and this ab side is at an angle 90 degree so this remaining angle is must be 50 degree so that we will get 40 degree inclination with respect to vertical plane over there okay so we want to rotate this pentagon in a downward direction at an angle 50 degree so that it will make 40 degree angle with respect to vertical plane so enter minus 50 degree angle over there minus because we are going to rotate in a clockwise direction so by default, that card is going to rotate in a anti-clockwise direction. To have the clockwise rotation, we have to enter minus sign over there. So enter minus 50 and hit enter button. Now if we just measure the inclination, let me first of all move this object somewhat over here like this. Okay. Now go with the angular measurement. Now we can measure the inclination with respect to vertical plane over here. Now that is going to be a 40 degree angle okay, as per the given problem statement. Okay, so we are going to make 40 degree inclination with respect to HP. Now the next thing is that just draw the projection lines that we have done previously. So this will be the point A now. Okay. So draw the projection line from this point. Okay, make sure that we are done on this ortho mode command. 
So this will be the point A. Okay. So we are getting point A over here at the intersection. Similarly, we will get point B over here. Both points A and B are lying over the horizontal plane. Similarly, for the point C, we are going to extend this line A here so that we can have the projection line from the C from the front view over here. Again, point D, extend this till this height. Again, point E. Now we have to complete projection line for the point AB. So this will be the projection line for the point A so that we can have intersection at point A over here. And this will be the intersection for the point B. Similarly, we have to draw the horizontal projection line for the point C. So we will get point C over here okay, and point E over here. Like this. Again, draw a line for the point D and that is going to obtain over this vertical line. Just change this to the object layer, go with the line command and go on connecting all those intersection points. So this will be the point A, this is going to be point B, turn off this also mode command. <coughs> this is going to be point C, again point D over here, point E and point A like this. So we have completed the final projection. Just go with the trim command, hit enter button, and delete this extra lines for the projection. Now go with the single line text once again. Select text type 3, rotation angle 0. This is going to be point A dash now. So this will be the point A dash. This is going to be point B dash over here. This will be the point B dash. This is going to be point C dash. Again, this will be the point D dash. And this is going to be point E dash. Okay, so by this way we have completed the solution for this given problem statement. Thank you.